Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, today we're going to look at an app called Volume Butler. Now, every now and then you come across an app that's very functional, uh, which is nice, but when it's also aesthetically pleasing and well designed, it makes it so much better, and that's exactly what Volume Butler is. Now, you can tell by the name of the app, I'm sure, that it has to do with setting the volumes levels on your phone, but it really is a lot more than just that. This is a full blown automation tool for volume. There's a lot of things going on with this app, and I'm going to try to go over. Um, you know, most of them I may not get through all of them because, like I said, there is a lot of different things. But it, as much as there's a lot of different things, it's not all that complicated either. Um, it has the nice drawer uh, effect, and um, there's various areas here that you can choose. Um, you've, the screen I was just on was called uh, Volumes, and then um, so. We, let's go to profiles. Profiles is the heart of it and this is where you can set up different profiles and call them what you want. You can even set the icon for what you want. So for example um, I have uh, what's called, you can call it anything you want, I've called uh, this particular one vibrate and you can long press on it to edit it um, or you can go in and hit the plus key to create a new one if you want to tap on any of them it'll switch to that profile as well but let me just go into edit now just to show you and um, actually it did switch to that profile it's now in vibrate um, and that keyboards up to change the name of it if I wanted to so I can change the name and I've set the uh, set this to vibrate in order to do that I've hit the three dot menu here and chose vibrate and you can go with normal or silent. What happens is because my phone uh, generally um, with ice cream sandwich and above the ringer and the notifications are combined but this will indeed separate it out which is kinda cool so I could literally move this ringer up and leave the notifications down to zero and then of course they would be on vibrate um, and that, that's a cool feature to have as I wouldn't normally be able to do with my stock set up on this phone. But we're going to bring the ringer down and that will put them both on vibrate. And of course you have your media setting and your alarm and your in-call and speakerphone. You can set those to whatever you want and then you would uh, hit save. Now you can also change the icon to whatever you want. There's a bunch to choose from. I chose the vibrate um, icon. And that's pretty much it. So we'll back out of this now. I won't save anything I did. There's the, when you uh, first install it, you'll see samples. There's a sample. I left it in there. Um, so basically, if I now, um, the vibrate icon is at the top of my notification, which means it's on vibrate. I'll switch it over to normal right now. Once you switch it wherever you are, it's also going to show in your notifications area. It's going to show you what setting profile you're on. So right now it's saying volume butler normal. Now, we take things a step further. That's just, just the tip of the iceberg. Go into schedules here, and now with schedules is you can select, take those profiles and, and add schedules around them. So for example, uh, and of course you can hit the plus key to add any, and, um, and of course right now it's saying the default profile is vibrate. But now let's just look at the work one. We're going to long press and in the, during my work day what I'm saying is use the normal profile and there's the icon for it. Normal is just for normal ringing sounds and I can set it for any days of the week I want Sunday through uh, Saturday Sunday through Saturday and then I go 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. just to set it up and that's the title. Of course I can also set up if I work on the weekends as well I can set up one for just Sunday and Saturday at different times so that also works. You can create a bunch of them. Now the app is free, I'll get into that later, but the app is free and with the free version you can set up three profiles, two schedules, and a couple other limitations. But with the paid version, in that purchase of $1.99, you can have unlimited amounts of schedules. And of course I set up one here for bedtime, uh, which will use the silent profile. And... Um, and I can set it. I set it up 11 p.m. Uh, to 6:59 a.m. in the morning. So that is a, a really great feature. And there's you know a lot of different schedules you can do there. Now comes quick schedules, uh, which I don't have one set up right now. But there's a sample one right here. And what uh, we'll just go ahead and long press on it. Basically, um, 
it's using the sample profile and it's saying to run for an hour and 30 minutes you can set that for whatever you want so um, whatever amount of time frame that you want to do so what that is is let's say you want to set up a uh, something for meetings because you go into meetings regularly what you can do is then go in and run the quick schedule uh, for that if you titled one meetings and uh, so you could go in here actually and I'll go ahead and do it uh, meetings and then I'll choose the profile and I'll choose the vibrate pro profile and I'll say the time and I'll just say um, one hour because that's normally uh, whoops one hour oh that's okay there we go one hour that was minutes and seconds so you can actually go down to the second so we'll hit OK and it's gonna go for an hour so what will happen is whatever I'm doing I can just quickly go in and hit that quick schedule and it will change it to vibrate change it to this profile for and I can save it here and all I do is hit that and it will actually override and you can see it over, overrode my uh, phone there and put it in vibrate that'll be in there for one hour's time frame and then it will go back to my normal schedule right now I'm in the work schedule um, so we go back over here now and then there's notifications notifications um, is an area that um, you can set up where you pick some apps and it will be based on a certain profile and right now it's going to go through all the apps so I can go in here and actually I had one and somehow I must have deleted it so let's just say I want to do one for um, hangouts uh, I can I can also select a bunch of them here uh, generally what's going to happen though is if you don't do them for all your apps um, then it's not going to work. You're not going to hear the other sounds because it's going to put everything in, in uh, a silent mode. But I'm going to choose just Hangouts for right now. I can choose multiples. And you can then choose your vibrate pattern. Um, that goes by pause and length in milliseconds twice. Pause, vibrate, pause, vibrate. So you can put that in and then you can also put your ringtone in. So it works perfectly. Now if you don't want the vibrate you can just hit zero in there. Uh, so I can go in here and um, go ahead and and type in uh, the same thing that they kind of have there 0, 0500 uh, and then maybe a 250 and then I can even go maybe 1500 and um, that's in there and then I can actually hit this button and, and uh, feel the vibration I don't know if you can really hear that I just put it up closer to, to the camcorder but um, basically that's how that works and then I can go in here also and change the uh, ringtone uh, so I can go in and choose whatever is available here. Let's just say this. And I, of course right now my phone is on vibrate so I don't hear it as I put it down uh, as I tap that. But that's that would be the setting and then I can go ahead and save it. And it's going to actually be based on, uh, you have to actually change the profile that you want it on. So normally you would put that in normal um, because that's, uh, the time where I would want to hear notifications or and get them so now we go over here and there's still a lot more um, Wi-Fi you can set a schedule based on Wi-Fi based on the Wi-Fi SSID this is perfect if you want to have a certain profile for when you're home so um, and you know and you obviously can't schedule every second of the day that you're going to be home uh, so you can go ahead and just say every time I'm on Wi-Fi this is the uh, settings uh, that I want you can also do it based on charging as well so um, if I'm in the if the phone is charging this is what I want to be done uh, and then there's some extras here you can set up an SMS message uh, for a certain keyword uh, you can add that. that well, how, why that is important is, and, and you know, there are many apps out there that if you send a text to your phone, you can change your ring pattern, you know, from vibrate to whatever. That's exactly what this will do. It's just an added feature. So if you set up a keyword um, for whatever, just a keyword Rob, whatever, and uh, that way if you misplace your phone, it's in vibrate, you can send, a, have a friend text your phone with the word Rob and uh, it'll change the phone to that profile. Uh, quick tip, make that profile a loud ringer. <laughs> I think you probably got the, the hang of that idea, but that's, make, you know, make sure there. Um, and then there's also a profile for driving. Um, it can tell that you are in a moving car, so you can set um, 
set the profile for that. You can also do it for um, Bluetooth and headphones as well, which is really cool. Um, so you can set up whatever profile there, and sometimes maybe you have Bluetooth in your car, so that works there too for whatever you want. So, and then down here are shortcuts, and actually what you can do here is create shortcuts on your um, home screen for certain things. It's kind of like a widget, backwards way of doing a widget, but let's just say I want to do a single profile. Um, I can choose which one, and let's just say I want to add one for Vibrate. I go ahead, shortcuts created, and now if I go out to my home screen, it may not work on all all phones, and there's got to be room as well. And I think, uh, well, actually, um, it didn't appear. Oh, there it is, vibrate. You never know where it's going to be. So that actually is now for vibrate. Now, that leads me to the widget, since I've got the screen here full of widgets. I'll actually just go ahead and remove that for now. Uh, that's just like any other icon. Um, there are four widgets. Uh, this widget here basically tells you what the current profile is. If you touch it, you can go in quickly and change it to another one. So now I can, uh, let's say I'm out of that meeting earlier than I thought, I can go right into normal here and I'm done. Um, and then I'm, I'm also within the app here, so let me go back at the home button and this widget here shows you the volume levels for each of the uh, areas and if you hit the left side you can adjust the volume levels now for this particular one as you can see that's, that's my icon I've chosen this is normal so if I go back I'm still within the app so I have to hit the home button to go back out again and if I hit the right side uh, then I can go ahead and switch profiles again it's just another quick way to get to your profiles um, and over here you can quickly change as well with this widget and then over here you've got the volume level showing in a circular fashion again just like you have here but the difference is if you tap on any one of them you can then adjust it each one individually right then and there now the other thing I just wanted to show you also um, in the well let me just go in to open up the app then lost the uh, task for it in the um, extras shortcuts uh, you can set up a quick schedule shortcut I, I, I know it was on the screen but I didn't point that out that's important too so like when I set up that meetings one I can have it on my screen ready to go so I don't have to go into the app and find it I can quickly just go ahead and hit that quick schedule and it will go into vibrate um, uh, for that one hour uh, time frame and then there's also some various uh, settings that you can do and change and adjust as well. Um, but basically, that's it in a nutshell. This is a very potent app, and it's designed well, looks good, and does a lot. The other thing this uh, works with, just so you know, for those of you who like Tasker and Locale, this will work with both of those apps. So that means that you can do even more fine-tuning. So you could use some of the profiles from here and also base things on battery, level and uh, whatever you want all kinds of things or calendar events so you can really take it one step further but just as it is now without any of that it's really tremendous works great and I can't say enough about it um, and like I said it's free of charge and it gives you I, like I said I believe three um, profiles, two schedules, two quick schedules, two Wi-Fi's, and uh, maybe two charging profiles as well. You get all that for free, and if you like it, for $1.99 in-app purchase, you get unlimited everything, and um, and I think you're going to like it as much as I do. So it's called Volume Butler. Definitely give it a shot, and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.